please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello, fool lovers. It's good you're here. Chan Singh was born in Bangkok, Thailand on September 29, 1936. Some sources say it's December 29, 1936 in Singapore. His family moved to Hainan, China when he was four years old. He began his education in Wen Chang Chi Wei village. His high school years were spent at Haiku First Middle School. He would then become a teacher at the age of 16 and taught at the 11th primary school in Haiku. He would then go on to Wanam Agricultural University in Guangdong. But after his first year, he was chased by communist guards. To avoid being captured, he would go to Hong Kong in 1958. In the late 60s, he would find his way into the movie industry. His first appearance would be as a thug in the movie Beauty Strap in 1967. He then appeared in the Shaw Brothers movies, Dead End, The Return of the One-Armed Swordsman, and The Invincible Fist, all in 1969. He would then leave Shaw Brothers in 1972, after starring in 18 films with the studio. His first lead role was in the movie The Bloody Fist in 1972. This hit movie turned out to be the great NGCN directorial debut, with choreography done by the legendary Yang Wu Ping. This movie would pair him against another legend of the genre, Soji Karada, in what became their first of many on-screen battles. He and Soji would work together in a number of other movies, such as The Angry Guest, The Good and the Bad, Gold Snatchers, and Rage of the Wind, to name a few. He would also feature in a number of Jimmy Wang Yu's films, such as The Chinese Boxer and Four Real Friends. Because of his exotic Southeast Asian features, his mustache and his muscular physique, right from the beginning of his acting career, Chan was considered to be perfect for villain roles as opposed to leading men roles. He was nicknamed the Asian Charles Bronson. When Chan was not acting, he was a karate instructor for Gojo Ru and Gojo Kai Karate. He was also a Hong Kong prison officer and would often do demonstrations for the Singapore police system together with Tan Tao Liang and his good friend, Kang Kong. Throughout much of the 1970s, Chan would continue to work for various movie companies. He played the lead villain in New Fist of Fury for Lowway Motion Picture Company, Bruce Lee the Invincible for Wuzu Film Company, The Tattoo Connection for First Films, and he co-starred with Samo Hong in the movie The Iron Fisted Monk for Golden Harvest in 1981. He possessed the ability to alternate between playing heroes and villains quite believably. He had a great on-screen present with his unique style of martial arts skills due to his legitimate expertise in karate. Throughout the 70s into the 80s, Chan would remain extremely busy. He would become a staple in the Kung Fu movies boom of the 70s, occasionally showing up as a hero, but mainly featured as a formidable villain. In the 1980s, Chan would take a change of pace and would appear in not only action, but other genre of movies including the first installment of the comedy action paper, Aces Go Places. With the filmography boasting a massive 143 movies in 23 years, Chan decided to leave the Hong Kong industry behind in 1996. He moved to Canada, first to Vancouver and then to Toronto, where he lived in retirement with his wife, Elizabeth, and their son. In 2017, he had to deal with the tragic death of his only son, George Edward Chan, to cancer. A mere two years later, in 2019, the legendary actor would himself transition, but by then his legacy in martial arts cinema was safe and secured. To Chan Singh we say, rest in peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.